This is Tanya Gara, and my name is Chris Rhoda, and we're here to talk more about the Trustvino wines, which we uh, enjoy so much, and we hope that you enjoy it as well, uh, because uh, we're, we're solidly behind a brand like this, and uh, the name Trust is uh, the first part of the, of the brand, and uh, you will, believe me. So Ta Tanya, what should we talk about first? What do you think? I think we should try Sauvignon first today. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, let me grab a bottle and uh -huh. crack it open here. Not crack it open. We'll open it mm -hmm. professionally and adroitly, I hope. Yeah. Uh, so, cut the foil off. These are new roller cutters. I'm used to the jackknife. So, Sauvignon Blanc is one of those workhorse wines. Again, goes with so many things. So perfect for Cantonese food, which is very delicate because they uh, they watch their sauces very carefully, as they want they don't want to overwhelm the signature flavors of the dish, and so uh, they work very hard to do that. And Sauvignon Blanc certainly uh, captures those flavors. Again, hear that wow. giggling baby? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A wonderful sound and civilization. Yeah, maybe the best one. <laughs> So, we're going to mm -hmm. taste this together. Yeah, sure. Get some comments and we'll see how it pairs nicely with uh, some Chinese dishes. Well, I like to swirl the wine because it's just opened and so you need yeah. to release uh, uh, some of the molecules and let the wine blossom in the glass. And so the aromatics come up and then they get captured in the dynamics of the glass and then you just kind of scoop them in mm -hmm. with the nose. And Maybe need a little bit of oxygen too. Pardon? Maybe need a little bit of oxygen too, yeah, this well, wine, to breathe. Yeah. Because the, the alcohol is the most volatile and the largest molecule in the wine. Mm -hmm. So it volatilizes out very easily. Mm -hmm. And attached to the, the alcohol is what they call esters, which is the, uh, the aromatics of the wine. Oh. So as the alcohol is released, volatized, uh -huh. so are the aromatics. Mm -hmm. So that's what the swirling does. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, this is lovely. Mm. I get a lovely herbaceous character in this. Mm hmm. Nice herbs. Get a little nutty, a little nut there. Mm hmm. Yeah. And almonds. Yeah, it's definitely it almond. Has just a little, I think it has just a hint of oak. Mm hmm. So it kind of leans a little bit toward the, but neutral oak. I don't get a lot of offensive oak. So it kind of leads more to mm -hmm. a Fumé Blanc. Um, and then <laughs> in France, up in the, uh, Loire River, the uh, upper regions around Sancerre, where the Sauvignon Blanc gr grows, it's really close to Burgundy, where they make Chardonnay, and everything goes in oak. So they use a little oak as well. So that's the difference between Sauvignon Blanc and Fumé Blanc. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is not. This is really nicely balanced. Mm, has a nice crisp edge to it. Lovely. Mm -hmm. really Chris, good. what do you think? Uh, what kind of food uh, is matching uh, or pairing well, with this wine? Sauvignon Blanc, because of its, uh, its uh, acidity, will, will certainly uh, manage salty dishes, even briny dishes like oysters. Mm -hmm. So even if you have oysters beef, so that saltiness in, in the oysters, mm -hmm. uh, Sauvignon Blanc will manage that nicely. Mm. If you have uh, soy dishes, soy sauces, in the, in, the, in the cuisine, in the dish, mm -hmm. Sauvignon Blanc will pair with that very nicely because it manages the salt. Uh, as with the rosé, which we tasted earlier, uh, with whole fish, again, which is kind of delicate, mm -hmm. uh, Sauvignon Blanc to the rescue. Uh, with those funny dishes like um, s sweet, sour, uh, fermented black bean sauce, mm -hmm. and you, you, know, you kind of throw your hands up, what, what on earth goes with this? Sauvignon Blanc. What about in. chicken? When it's like could be baked or baked chicken or fried chicken, it's... Uh, well, chicken, uh, and chicken, for example, uh, when you talk about fried, deep fried uh, wonton. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, it's got a lot of fat on it. So Sauvignon Blanc will cut through that fat. Mm -hmm. uh, so chicken has uh, a lot of fat on it. And Sauvignon Blanc will This will that. be perfect for that, yeah. And then the citrus character of this, mm -hmm. you have like an orange sauce. Uh, the, this this uh, will pair nicely with uh, the citrus flavors in the wine. Will pair nicely with the orange infusion that you have in the dish. So uh, again, a really 
nice workhorse. Uh, you, oh, and I keep forgetting, you mm -hmm. can have this alone too. Oh, <laughs> Just it was it. a little bit chocolate too? <laughs> Uh, well, chocolate might conflict, but uh, certainly <laughs> alone with a nice hors d'oeuvre um, or a piece of cheese or something like that. Oh, okay. With a nice piece of goat cheese, uh, mm -hmm. golden herbs, be just beautiful with that. Mm -hmm. so, so, so nice. And gouda cheese, of course. So what? Gouda cheese. Yes, gouda. Oh, gouda. Oh, gouda. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Sounds more Russian. Some say gouda, gouda, some yeah. say tomato, some say uh -huh. tomato. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> so, Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, Trust Vino. Sauvignon Blanc, a great one. Our, our favorite. Yes. Trust me.